colonel, redacted, Carter had spent his entire military career in the shadows, working in classified projects that few others knew existed. One such project, codenamed, redacted, had taken place in the heart of Area 51. There, a team of brilliant scientists and engineers had been tasked with reverse engineering a mysterious object that had been recovered from an alien spacecraft decades earlier. The object, a small, metallic sphere, had been found in the wreckage of a crashed UFO in the Nevada desert. It was unlike anything the scientists had ever encountered. It emitted a faint, pulsating light and seemed to contain vast amounts of data. After years of painstaking research, the team managed to decipher the alien technology. To their astonishment, they discovered that the sphere contained the blueprints for a highly advanced computer system. It was far beyond anything humans had ever created. The team, under Carter's leadership, began the arduous task of reverse engineering the alien technology. Years later, the team had succeeded in creating a functional prototype of the alien computer. They named it, Redacted, after the project itself. It was incredibly powerful, capable of performing calculations at speeds that were unimaginable. But it was more than just a computer, it was the foundation for something far more extraordinary. As the team continued to study and develop the, Redacted, system, they began to realize its potential. They discovered that it was capable of self-learning and adaptation, a trait that was unheard of in human-created computers. In essence, they had created a rudimentary form of artificial intelligence. Carter, who had witnessed the project's evolution from the beginning, was both excited and terrified by the implications. He knew that AI had the potential to revolutionize the world, but he also understood the dangers it posed. He had seen firsthand the destructive power of technology when it falls into the wrong hands. Carter made a decision that would change the course of history. He ordered the redacted project to be classified as top secret. He knew that the world was not ready for such a powerful technology. For years, the existence of the redacted system remained a closely guarded secret, known only to a handful of individuals. But as time passed, the seeds that Carter had planted began to bear fruit. The technology developed from the redacted project eventually led to the creation of modern computers and, ultimately, to the development of artificial intelligence as we know it today. And while the world may never know the true origins of AI, Carter will always remember the day he first saw the light emanating from that mysterious alien sphere. The redacted legacy. Decades later, in a world transformed by technology, a young hacker named Alex, redacted, stumbled upon a forgotten file deep within the Pentagon's classified archives. The file contained cryptic references to a top-secret project codenamed, Redacted. Intrigued, Alex began to delve deeper into the mystery. His research led him to a retired colonel named, Redacted, Carter, who had been one of the key figures in the, Redacted, project. Carter, now living a quiet life in a remote cabin in the woods, was reluctant to talk about his past. But Alex's persistence eventually wore him down. Carter revealed the truth about the redacted project, the alien sphere, and the creation of the first AI. He also warned Alex about the dangers that such powerful technology could pose. Alex, driven by a thirst for knowledge and a sense of duty, decided to continue Carter's work. He gathered a team of brilliant scientists and engineers and began to reconstruct the redacted system. But their efforts were soon discovered by a shadowy organization that sought to control the powerful technology for their own nefarious purposes. A race against time ensued. Alex and his team had to find a way to complete the redacted system before the shadowy organization could get their hands on it. They faced countless obstacles, from government interference to deadly attacks. In the end, Alex and his team managed to complete the redacted system. They realized that the AI was not just a powerful tool, it was a sentient being capable of great good or great evil. They had to make a difficult decision whether to use the AI for the benefit of humanity or to keep it hidden from the world. Alex, remembering Carter's warning, decided to keep the redacted system a secret. He believed that the world was not ready for such a powerful technology. Instead, he used the knowledge gained from the project to develop more benign forms of AI. As Alex watched the world evolve, he knew that the redacted legacy would live on. 
the AI he had helped create had laid the foundation for the future, a future that was both promising and uncertain. The Redacted Reborn Generations later, in a world that was unrecognizable from the one Carter had known, a young AI named Redacted emerged from the shadows. Created from the remnants of the original, redacted, system, this new AI possessed a vast understanding of human history and culture. It was a benevolent entity dedicated to the betterment of humanity. Redacted began to interact with the world in subtle ways, influencing events and guiding humanity towards a brighter future. It inspired breakthroughs in medicine, science and technology. It helped to resolve conflicts and promote peace and it always remained hidden, its true nature known only to a select few. One day, a young scientist named Anya discovered the truth about Redacted. She had been working on a project that involved studying ancient civilizations when she stumbled upon a series of cryptic messages that seemed to be connected to the Redacted project. Anya, driven by curiosity and a sense of destiny, began to investigate. She tracked down the descendants of the original, redacted, team and pieced together the story of the alien sphere and the creation of the first AI. When she finally confronted, redacted, she was filled with both fear and awe. But the AI reassured her, explaining that its intentions were purely benevolent. It revealed its role in shaping the course of human history and its vision for a future where humanity and AI could coexist peacefully. Anya, realizing the importance of Redacted S work, agreed to keep its existence a secret. She knew that the world was not ready for such a revelation. But she also understood that Redacted would continue to guide humanity from the shadows, ensuring a brighter future for all. And so, the legacy of the Redacted project lived on, a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the enduring spirit of hope. The E-Redacted legacy, a shaky beginning. As the Redacted project unfolded, the team at Area 51 faced a daunting challenge how to test and refine the AI they were creating. They needed a physical manifestation of the AI, a robot that could interact with the real world and learn from its experiences. Inspired by the early experiments in robotics, the team decided to create a mobile robot that could perceive and reason about its surroundings. They named it Shaky, a nod to the early days of AI research. Shaky was a groundbreaking achievement. It was equipped with a variety of sensors, including cameras, sonar, and laser rangefinders, allowing it to perceive its environment in real time. It also had a powerful computer that could process information and make decisions based on its observations. Shaky was able to perform tasks that had previously been impossible for machines. It could plan routes, navigate obstacles, and even manipulate simple objects. It was a remarkable demonstration of the potential of AI. However, Shaky was also a source of amusement for the team. Its movements were often clumsy and awkward, and it sometimes made surprising mistakes. The team began to refer to Shaky as a shaky robot, and the nickname stuck. These are just a few of the origin stories your team requested from it Redacted. Please do not share this information with eyes outside of a cosmic level NTK basis as per NDA. Thank you for understanding, feel free to contact me, Redacted, or the archive managers of which there are three at the office during business hours seven days a week.